Okay, welcome to this video where we want to look at the 2023 examination paper for the GCE under the question of construction. So the question here is question number four. And the first part says construct triangle KLM in which KL equal to 10 centimeters and LM equal to 7 centimeters and angle KLM equal to 120 degrees. So to construct, you need to have these instruments, the mathematical instruments, the pair of compasses, the rulers such as these, the protractors, all these instruments are supposed to be in place for you to do an accurate construction. So that is what we are going to do. So how do we construct triangle K, L, M in which K, L equal to 10 centimeters? So this is going to be our starting point KL equal to 10 centimeters. So let us construct. So you are expected to use a pencil, but uh, just so the diagram can look clear, I'm going to use a black pen. But during an examination, please make sure that whatever you are using is done in a pencil. So we are going to start by measuring the distance KL, which is equal to 10 centimeters. So you get your rule and measure in centimeters, 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters is going to be from zero, from zero, K. Zero. Okay, so there is where my 10 centimeters is going to be. And make sure after you are done, you indicate to say this is the distance KL. So KL equal to 10 centimeters. So it will be KL, which is equal to 10 centimeters. The next part of the question is asking you to also construct the distance LM, which is equal to 7 centimeters, and angle KLM, which is equal to 120 degrees. So before you can construct this distance of LM, which is equal to 7 centimeters, it is important to first of all do the angle, which is 120 degrees. Why starting with an angle? Because we understand that our distance KL is here. And uh, where LM is, we, we don't know exactly. So for us to do it accurately, first of all, we shall construct the angle, which is given at 120 degrees. So this is starting from K to L, then M in that direction. K, L, then M somewhere there. So you just get your compass, sorry, your protractor, and then the center of the compass, the center of the protractor should be placed at where the angle is going to turn from. And then you make sure that that line in the compass flashes with the line that has been drawn. So that is what is expected. And then from there, you measure the degrees starting from zero. So my zero is at this point, then going forward up to where 120 is, it's going to be at this point. So just make a very small mark, an indication that this is where the line LM is going to pass through at a distance of 7 centimeters. So after doing that, you now get your rule and measure 7 centimeters from L passing through where the angle was marked. At seven, at seven centimeters. So, okay, there you go. Seven centimeters. This is where my zero is. So my seven centimeters shall go up to somewhere there. So this is L M, and this is angle at one twenty degrees, which is the angle K L M. That is how you do it. Also make sure that this is indicated as 7 
centimeters. The next part of the question is asking us to now measure and write the length km. km is the distance from where k is to where m is. So you simply get your, your rule and then measure this distance. So when you do, make sure that these distances are as accurate as possible. So from k, this is where k is, to where m is, this distance is about uh, 14 point, this is 14 point, 14 point 8. So my distance is 14 point 8 centimeters. So in your answering this question, you make sure that you indicate this is the solution to number two, which is about measuring the distance km, which is 14.8 centimeters. This can be plus or minus 0 0.1. Remember, there could be some variations in our measurements. So this is just an approximation of what this actual distance can be. The next part of the question is asking us to, to, to it says within triangle KLM, draw the locus of points which are 1, 5.5 centimeters from M. 5.5 centimeters from M. So a locus of points is simply a point which is of equal distance from the given point. In this case, the point is M. Okay? So it should be 5.5 centimeters from M. So we shall measure this distance. So what it means is that you simply get your rule and measure a distance of 5.5 centimeters. So this is the radius of 5.5 from M. So now you get your compass. You're going to stand at the point where M is and just make sure that this is done as accurately as possible. Okay, so we stand at M and then we simply draw an arc which should pass through or within the triangle KLM. So that is for that part of the question, the first, the first part of part B. Okay, you can even get to say this is the part B number one or part D1, hope you are able to solve this is part D1, and also indicate to say this is the 5.5 centimeters from the point where M is. The next part of the question is asking you to draw within this triangle KLM the locus of points which are one centimeter from LM. So LM is a line that has been drawn. LM is here. So one centimeter from this line is done by, first of all, simply you get the distance of one centimeter on your, your compass, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate. So this is the one centimeters, okay? This is the one centimeters distance. So this distance you get it, and then you are going to stand at each of these two points for L and M. So you can start by standing at where L is, and then you simply strike an arc within this triangle. So this distance is a distance which is at one centimeter. Also, you come at the point where M is, you do the same. Within this distance, so within this triangle, that is the one centimeter locus of points. Now, on top of these arcs, that's where you are supposed to simply draw a line. Make sure it touches these these arcs that have been drawing, have been drawn. So again, I'm going to do like this. Okay. So this line, as you can see, it, it is a line which is equidistant, one centimeter equidistant from 
from L M. Okay. Or a locus of points which are one centimeter from L M. So you can also indicate this is the solution to number B two. The next part of the question, as you can see from here, it says, so we are now at number B, but part 3, which says, within triangle KLM, draw the locus of points which are equidistant from M and L, M and L. So what is the difference between this and this one here? So the difference is that LM is the line that you just we have here and then you could distance from m and l as individual points so how do we do it so what it means is that you you have to draw a line uh, which is going to be of equal distance from the point l as well as m so you do so by simply doing a distance which is more than half on your your compass okay and then you strike an arc inside of this very triangle as well as outside, okay? You move the position from L to where M is, you do the same. And then just make sure that these arcs are intersecting at some given point. So as we can see, we have the points of intersection at this point as well as at this point so it is these two points that we have to join so let's do so you get to your rule and you simply join these two points so this is a locus of points which is equidistant from l and m we move on with our question but c says a point P within triangle KLM is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters from M. So we need to look at this part of the question in parts. So there is a point within this triangle that has been drawn. And this point, as indicated, it is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters from M. So M is here, and where is this distance, which is 5.5 centimeters? Okay, so we have a locus of points, which is 5.5 cent, 5 .5 centimeters from M. This is the one which has been indicated here. So now this point is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters. Where is it supposed to be? Of course, the 5 centimeters is here. 5.5 centimeters is here. So anything less or equal is going to be from this line going the other side. So we can meanwhile ignore about this part of our, our, our triangle. We continue. Also greater than or equal to 1 centimeter from LM. Greater than or equal to 1 centimeter from LM. LM is here and the line which is 1 centimeter, we it is this line one centimeter from LM. This line here is a locus of point of one centimeter from LM. So now we've been told greater than. So meaning from this line going up is the distance that we are considering. So remember we said this arc going below. Now we are saying this line going up because that is greater or equal to. So we are remaining with this portion going inside. It continues to say, and nearer to L than M. So L is this side, okay? I hope you are able to see. So L is this side, then M is this side. The line, the statement says nearer to L than M. So if it is nearer to L, then it is definitely this side because this line here has divided this into two equal parts. So there is... This line cutting through the middle for L and M. So which, which part of our line are we considering? It is the part on the left-hand side. So meaning this has left us with this part of the triangle, and this is where our P is going to be 
indicated. And we have to do so by shading the region in which P must lie. So we shall simply now shade this as the region where this P must lie. And we make sure that it is well indicated as the point where P must lie. So this is how this is supposed to be to be done. I hope you have followed. You can watch the video time and again in order for you to understand. So this is a composer question. Make sure that you understand it and do more of such kind of questions. It's going to be very helpful to you. So we can also have a look at this question in a similar manner. This is 2021. The one that we did was just from the 2023. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.